with Israel, you're messing with the United States of America. We will stand to get here from the airport. Give them a round of applause. Thank you, gentlemen. This is wonderful. Now, one of the best kept secrets about Herman Cain is that he was born not too far from here. That's right. I was born in Memphis, Tennessee. But I got a lot of relatives that lives in Bartlett, Tennessee. And as far as I'm concerned, all y'all are my relatives today. It is great to be here. And thank you for coming out. You could be somewhere else, doing something else. But you decided to come out to show your support for me. And you don't know how much that encourages me. Because as I told a group earlier this week, I don't know how to spell the word quit. <laughs> now this is October. Two months ago, they had something called the Iowa Straw Poll. And at the end of the Iowa Straw Poll, we ended up in fifth place and many of the pundits, many of the so-called political media experts were predicting that that was the end of the Herman Cain campaign. No! That's what they were predicting. But you see, Here's what I have learned in the past several weeks and in the past 
couple of months. It didn't just start with that Florida straw poll. It didn't just start with that National Federation of Republican Women's straw poll or all of the other straw polls. Here's what I learned that finally, finally, some of the pundits are finally getting it. The voice of the people is more powerful than the voice of the media. <laughs> I got relatives here. The voice of the people are going to decide who's going to be the nominee. And the voice of the people are going to decide who's going to be the next president of the United States of America. Because the American people are sick and tired of business as usual in Washington, D.C. The American people have decided enough is enough. The American people have decided that they do not like the road that this administration has this nation on. The American people have decided that they are tired of political answers, political responses, and politicians. They want a problem solver in the White House come 2012. So all of a sudden, Herman Cain starts moving up in the polls. Right. Woo. <laughs> Even though somebody said we should have put a fork in my campaign two months ago. <laughs> but you see, I have always had confidence in the American people. I've always had confidence in the voters, the people that make a difference. You see, one of the reasons I get asked this all the time by the media, why do you think there's a sudden surge of your campaign. You were single digits and all of a sudden now you are up in the top tier as they call it. The answer is real simple. It's real simple. Message is more powerful than money and the American people like the message.